What's up? How are you guys today? We are taking a look at what a twink eats in a day. <laughs> That's kind of what I wanted to title this video by, you know, how YouTube is with stuff like that. And I'm one to talk, right? I'm one to talk. But you know, like the guy's face does not match his body. You know, it looks like just some young kid and uh, kind of like halfway to a bodybuilder, you know? But I guess we can see how he poisons himself, right? Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I will be taking y'all through a full day of eating on my bulk. I'm gonna be showing y'all everything that I put into my body today. That means food, supplements, drinks, all that and all. Everything that I'm putting into my body. I mean, he could have worded it a little differently, but okay. Also give you some reasoning on why I eat what I do so that hopefully you can take some good pointers from it and that you can learn. I'll be putting the calories and macros for the entire day at the end of the video. So make sure you're sticking around for that. Make sure to watch the whole video that you're getting the full picture and that you learn a bunch of good information. Would you guys place any bets like out of the thousands and thousands of fitness influencers that do these types of videos? You think one of them is ever going to bring something new to the table? about your nutrition. Without further ado, let's go downstairs and start eating because it's already 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm starving. I mean, he's got a shelf full of normie bro science supplements. Ooh, I'm sure that fish oil is nice and fresh. So the first thing I do every single day when I come downstairs is take my supplements. I like taking them right when I walk downstairs, but I don't forget because I am someone who forgets to take their supplements. So I get it done first thing in the morning, but I'm going to show you exactly what I take. So for powders that you saw me put over my Helix here that conveniently matches my Young LA shirt, code Casey on Rise Subs, Helix, and Young LA. I have creatine and L-glutamine. Now everyone knows about creatine, helps muscular endurance, helps muscular hydration, helps you push out a couple more reps in the gym, and helps the muscle hold a little bit more water. A lot of people... So I made a video on creatine a few years ago that was shadow banned because, you know, big creatine doesn't want to lose any money. But at best, you're damaging your kidneys. You know, worst case scenario, you start losing your hair and causing other types of organ damage. So it's not something you should be taking don't know about l-glutamine and that's just going to help me with my digestion, which is extremely important, especially when you're bulking. You want I mean, it's just an amino acid. You know, a lot of times when they try to isolate these individual things, whether it's glycine or L-glutamine, torn, whatever it is, you're better off just having a high quality bone broth like the one we have uh, collagen broth on Frankie's for range meat. You know, just take some high quality organic or grass fed beef bones. You got to boil them for about 20 hours and the amino acid profile of that will actually be beneficial. Whereas I've experimented and taken stuff like this L-glutamine. It doesn't make a difference whatsoever. Maybe if you're really deficient in certain circumstances, but that digestion to be on point. Then for the regular vitamins and minerals, I try to keep it pretty simple. Starting off, I take a multivitamin just to make sure everything's in check. I mean, we did a video on multivitamins as well a few years ago. And to summarize that as quickly as possible, it doesn't have the best forms of the vitamins and the ratios are way out of whack and you're just going to harm your body. No reason to take it in any circumstance. And then I have no vitamin or mineral deficiencies. Then I take fish oil for heart health, but more for joint health. Make sure everything... I think we did a video on that too, guys. Like it's a broken record here. It's just oxidized. You don't want to take it. The only fish you want to be eating is like either fresh or frozen of certain types. Thing is lubricated, feeling nice in my body. Then I take turmeric just for general inflammation because as we know, lifting is very hard on your body. It causes a lot... So turmeric, high flavonoid, high carotene content. The only way it would reduce inflammation is by suppressing liver function. Something you really shouldn't be taking. I bet you if you started taking five to 10 of those turmeric capsules a day, you'd have elevated liver enzymes within a week. A lot of inflammation and just taking turmeric can curb that just a little bit. Then I take magnesium because magnesium is a fantastic supplement. Oh, we might actually have one supplement that's okay. I wonder what form of magnesium is in that. You basically want glycinate, it's fine, but a lot of those like mainstream brands have so many other additives and they don't have the correct form of the vitamin or mineral. So you got to be careful what you're taking. Supplement. It has a multitude of benefits. And then also I take a daily probiotic again for digestion issues because my. So, I mean, <laughs> basically normie bro science stuff. That's incorrect. These probiotic things are either, you know, dead bacteria or it's just not a high enough and diverse enough amount of probiotics because if something like this actually fixed your gut health, people wouldn't be scouring the internet trying to fix long-term digestive issues like SIBO or Candida. You need an actual high-quality 
probiotic, whether it's homemade water kefir, you know, we have the yogurt, the kefir, all that stuff on like the meat and foods website, but this stuff is not going to work. And for digestion issues, because my digestive tract is very inflamed. I have IBS personally. I'm going to finish. Uh, and, and, and has your supplement routine helped your IBS? Has it? Drink of this. And then we're going to get into meal number one, because I am still extremely hungry. It's kind of silly how I feel like I'm pausing this too much, but I mean, I, I can touch on everything he's saying. But how could you go on like that whole rant of, oh, this is what I do when it's so good for you. And then just mention, oh, yeah, my tummy's fucked up. It doesn't work. Like, <laughs> bro, one day, one day on the correct probiotic, you'll feel like better instantly. This is not like a, a several week, several month thing trying to figure it out. If you drink a properly made probiotic, the first day you drink it, your digestion will basically be fixed. First meal of the day doesn't look great, but it tastes great. So let me tell you what's in it. I have 75 grams of cream of rice, a bodybuilder's classic, and I normally would like to do oats, but I'm doing cream of rice. And we've spoke about arsenic and rice, and that's even in organic rice. So there's always an arsenic concern. And then if you have a non-organic grain product, it's sprayed with God knows what herbicides, pesticides, agrochemicals, fungicides, glyphosate. You don't want, you know, what type of water was it grown in? It's, it's basically poison. You don't want to be eating... Uh, conventionally grown grains. I have a hard time digesting fiber because of IBS. So when I'm eating a lot, a lot of food, I really can't do that. So we're sticking to something that digests a little bit easier, which is cream of rice. And it gives me that hot cereal fix. Then I have one scoop of rice, Skippy peanut butter protein. This stuff is the best protein I have ever taken. I mean, we have like a plain whey protein on, on one of my businesses, but it's literally just the whey protein concentrate. You know, a lot of these will be made from conventional dairy, which can be inflammatory and has a lot of downsides to it. Plus all of the chemicals and additives and flavorings they're adding to it just to kind of make it taste good. Taste it. Rice subs code case if you want it. Then even more peanut butter flavor. We have BB Fit powdered peanut butter, half a serving of that. Then we have 10 grams of almond butter just to slow the digestion down a little bit and to give us some health. Meal isn't organic. You know, those types of nut butter is usually high in omega-6, so... A lot of downsides to this type of meal, but normally I would say as a young person, most of them can tolerate it, but his, he has IBS, so I guess not. <laughs> Fats in the morning. I'm going to devour this bowl of what tastes like a big bowl of sweet peanut butter, and then I'll catch you at meal number two. Right here, I have our pre-workout meal. It's looking absolutely delicious. It's a spin on one of the- So far, this is like cookie cutter, normally bodybuilding stuff. Bodybuilding classics, chicken, rice, and broccoli. So right here, we have 200 grams of jasmine rice, 140 grams of grilled chicken breast, 15 grams of almond butter, two servings, or 60 grams- It's just funny to me, like, bro, I got 72 grams of this, 43 grams of that, 0 0.07 grams of- like. Like, that's more important than the fact you're poisoning yourself with the food quality. It's whatever. Grams of sugar-free Polynesian sauce, some broccoli, and just a little bit of black sesame seeds. It's important to be eating a high- Bro, if I told you vegan breast milk was, I don't know, low calorie or something, or like zero calories per tablespoon, and you drank like half a gallon of it and got sicker than you ever did in your life, like- carb meal about an hour before your workout so that your body is able to use the energy from the carbs during your workout that's why we have 200 grams of white rice right here i did some chicken because it's a lean protein source and i know for me it digests very easily i did just a little bit of almond butter to slow the digestion down just a little bit then i threw our broccoli in there to get some greens and then the sugar-free sauce just to make it taste good i'm gonna devour this and then i'm gonna get ready for our chest and arm did he workout. put almond Maybe butter on that that's disgusting what Bro, there's something wrong with these people. Catch you guys at the Bro, why can't you just have a tablespoon of almond butter after the meal as like a little dessert snacks? Pre workout mix. I'm about to head to the gym, which means we need to make our pre workout drink. So, for our pre workout, we're using the mini Gila mix because it just makes it easier. And I just took a caffeine break, so I don't need a lot of caffeine. So, we're going with the blue raspberry element ring pop from Rise Sups, code Casey, of course, since I want a better pump just because I am. 
so he's sponsored. I haven't looked too much into these uh, these pre workout supplements, uh, but it's kind of similar to creatine, where they're just going to cause kidney issues, may, maybe liver issues too. A lot of the nitric oxide stuff is very very high in oxalates, which is super bad, uh, super super bad for the kidneys. So that's the main concern. Then all the other chemicals in it and stimulants probably you know destroy your adrenals, really kind of attacking almost every organ in the body with this stuff. Enjoy it. We're doing some black cherry pump, pump daddy. daddy. Also pump daddy. Ups. This should give us an absolutely juicy pump. And then for intra-workout drinks, so I'll be drinking this during my workout, we're gonna go with a carb powder. So this is gonna be 25 grams of carbs from carb powder and just some BCAs and EA. Just Bro, this is funny to me because I used to be so into bodybuilding when I was younger and I used to take these supplements too. But looking back on it, like, like no one fucking cares, dude. Like, oh, bro, I'm pumped up in this. No one fucking cares, dude, because those girls are out with, like, skinny drug dealers getting piped. Like, no one cares how big your biceps look in the gym with your pump daddy supplement. <laughs> to make sure we're not going catabolic during our workout. Carb powder is going to give my body the nutrients during my workout to be able to push longer and harder. And Carb power? Ooh, no, we have a better supplement. It's called Flextrose. Available on Frankie's Free Range Foods, the only organic dextrose product on the market. I, I, let me actually look this one up. What's in this? So it seems like a really cheap maltodextrin. And it says potato, rice, or corn. So they're really just probably getting like the cheapest conventional uh, carbohydrate powder they can buy. And then just adding a few flavorings and artificial stuff to make it taste passable. I would not eat that stuff. It's probably full of agrochemicals and pollutants. And also the carbs will give me a better pump though. It's just all around. It helps me out. If you have the extra calories while bulking, I suggest you take an intro workout drink. Our BCAs and EAAs. I'm going to shake these up, then I'll catch you at the gym. We've arrived at the gym, sitting here, just finishing up my pre-workout. Actually, a really good pre-workout combo today. Kind of tastes like a blow pop. We are going into the gym to absolutely crush a workout. We are going to use all the extra... Are like bodybuilders kind of similar to vegans in the sense that everything has to taste sweet? Like vegans will actually put maple syrup on everything, but bodybuilders will put like artificial flavorings and fake sweeteners on everything. Extra calories that we're eating to our benefit and push some weight in the gym. Your off season should be just as important, if not more important than when you're in season or when you're cutting or when you're on bodybuilding prep. You have to be dialed in during your training, train with intent, use all the food you're eating to your benefit, push the weight hard and get good workouts in so that you actually grow. That is exactly what I'll be doing. When you have all these nutrients in your body, you're able to get the best workouts. So go in there, crush it and get a good workout. Just like I'm about to do let's go get what nutrients bro <laughs> was it the the conventional chicken and four pieces of broccoli was it the uh poisonous cream of rice hey maybe he does have a lot of uh uh low quality conventional whey protein flowing through his bloodstream a huge chest and arms pump baby airpods to fry your brain during the workout All right, we're not watching this shit let's go to the next meal Bro, I haven't worked out in like, I don't know, two months now. The only working out I've been doing is jerking off. But uh, I guess my high quality organic diet is keeping me pumped up, huh? Hey, look, look, look. I don't mean to talk trash, but. All right, we are back from the gym now, outside on the front porch, and we have our post-workout meal prepared right here with some carrots on the side. But the post-workout meal is as follows. 200 grams of jasmine rice and some cauliflower rice, just like last meal. We have some beef. It's actually beef stew meat. It's a really, really lean cut of beef, so I added some grass-fed butter here. I need to get more fat. This is actually like a decent meal. I mean, it's a little mishmash all over the place. Like, I don't know why he's mixing cauliflower rice with jasmine rice or putting that crappy sauce on it but at least there's some butter and red meat in there that's in for hormone production and everything to make sure this bulk goes well and that my hormones recover perfectly then we also have sugar-free high chili sauce on hormone production like like ooh. definitely don't need the carrots on the side there's no no reason to eat carrots there and i ran out of broccoli so we have to go with some carrots for this meal this looks absolutely fantastic beef and rice is one of my favorite meals so i know i'm already gonna like this i'm gonna devour this and i'll catch y'all in the next clip post-workout meal is absolutely demolished and it was fantastic as i had expected this video has demolished my brain cells i don't know about the food 
feeling a little bit snackish and kind of just want something sweet. Not even that I'm hungry. I'm feeling snackish. Is that, I like that word. I'm feeling snackish. So we're having one serving of vanilla Greek yogurt in here, some protein, some sugar after our workout should be fine. So it's probably just like the regular crappy, you know, low fat vanilla yogurt from the supermarket that has like all the sugar and flavorings added to it made from low quality conventional dairy. Whereas on the other hand, like actual raw yogurt from a local farm. I mean, we have raw yogurt on Frankie's range meat, but it's one of the best probiotics and healthiest foods you can have in general. So it's an interesting contrast. And you know, once you go from the natural way yogurt's made to the supermarket, it's almost like they intentionally stripped any sort of beneficial things to it whatsoever. The probiotic content, the fat content, the quality of the protein is just kind of sad. I'm gonna eat this and I'll catch y'all in the next clip. One thing that I started implementing about six months ago that massively helps with digestion is exactly this. You may be asking, well, what is this? It's literally going for a 10 minute walk after a big meal and it helps my digestion. So yeah, I mean, if you're in a high radiation environment and, uh, and you're not wearing protective clothing, then one of the only real ways to kind of keep food moving is, uh, is to be really active. Much. It's cut down the bloating incredibly and I have noticed a ginormous difference in just taking a digestion walk for about 10 minutes after a couple meals a day. So if you have trouble, especially while you're bulking with bloating and just feeling lethargic. This is not something you should normally have to do all the time after big meals definitely try this out. While I walk, I'm going to give you all some advice to simplify your diet. Now a lot of people overcomplicate. Bro, this is giving me hench herbivore vibes like two weeks ago where his gallbladder exploded in the hospital and he was still given nutrition advice like this kid's stomach is completely messed up Kate diets online so here are a few things that i live by that'll make it so much simpler first and most importantly hit your calories and macros depending on whatever your goal is if you're cutting eat in a calorie deficit if you're all right I, I, yeah i mean i, I feel kind of bad for the kid he, he's basically kind of brainwashed by all this modern conventional bodybuilding cookie cutter bro science mumbo jumbo he he's doing it he's following it and he's just like vomiting it back up to people oh do what i've been told oh do what i've been told when in reality it's messed up his stomach and uh you know all right we skipped his little speech there I have a beautiful meal in front of me. We're having tacos. All it is is corn tortilla, pork tenderloin. It's a very, very lean cut of meat that a lot of people overlook that tastes delicious. I you guys know I've never really had, I don't know if I've ever had tacos, but uh, last few times I tried having these like organic tortillas uh, from the market, I just felt so crappy. It's kind of hard to get stuff like that. You almost have to make it yourself. Got six ounces of that pork tenderloin, three corn tortillas, about 30 grams of avocado because I ran out and then I just put some Texas peat on top. And I'm also having one ounce or 28 grams of some almonds. I'm gonna devour this and then I'll catch y'all at ice cream. So it's just really low quality food, like conventional pork tenderloin, conventional corn. It's This is really, really like what you don't want your cells to be made of. <laughs> Time. That's right, ice cream time. Watch this magic right here. You see how this is frozen? We're gonna turn this into some ice cream. Last meal of the day, we have birthday cake protein ice cream made with rice, birthday cake flavored protein. It is an absolute highlight of my day. It would only be 200 calories if I didn't add the sprinkles. You know what, maybe that video we made uh, just this week about too much protein being really bad for you, especially your digestion, applies to this video a lot. I mean, just way too much whey protein and the allergens and stuff in dairy. Like, I bet you if he just stopped eating the whey protein, his stomach would fix itself. Like, all other crappy dietary stuff aside, I'm pretty sure if he just stopped all these protein powders every meal, he'd be fine but the sprinkles are a little treat at the end of the night that I like to throw on there. I'm also having three of these cones. They're 20 calories a piece. It makes eating the ice cream just a little bit more fun. And since we're bulking, we can afford the 60 extra calories. But this is an absolute treat at night. It is literally just like drinking a protein shake, but that machine makes it incredible. But we wrapped up the day just barely shy of 3,000 calories. To now, I don't like addressing this macronutrient nonsense. The carbs and fats, can be near that amount on a healthy high quality diet but the protein is just way too high 
probably be around 125, 150. And, you know, if we're making suggestions of healthier versions of what he's having, you know, obviously ditch most, if not all of those supplements that he's taking in the morning on an empty stomach, which are probably making his digestion and everything much, much worse. The uh, cream of rice with the nonsense fit peanut butter, I would do either oats or like organic buckwheat cereal with macadamia nut butter or just a higher quality saturated fat, even like raw dairy in there. Could have yogurt too. That's a lot more approachable. All these chicken and rice meals should be swapped for beef and rice. Just a lot healthier. You know, remove the vegetables, remove the sauces. Beef and rice is a, a very simple alternative to that. Don't need the pre and post workout stuff. You could have dark chocolate if you need caffeine. We have the flextrose carbohydrate if you want a, a carbohydrate supplement. And then uh, he had that beef and rice meal, which was the only one close to reasonable. But, you know, if he was doing this meal four or five times a day, he'd be a lot healthier. And then we had the crappy tortillas, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you go organic on everything and get high-quality ingredients, you can make this passable, but uh, it probably costs three to four times as much, and you'd have to use some brain cells. And then for the ice cream, you know, actual ice cream, in my opinion, is healthier than this, even just off-the-shelf, regular, conventional ice cream. But, you know, if you want to go the quality version and make your own or get some from a local farm that does the the raw milk ice cream with the pasteurized eggs, that's the, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. But guys, definitely check out frank com if you'd like to support me through all of my businesses. Hey, maybe we will have our uh, our own ice cream like that that you guys can buy very soon. Uh, outside of that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. A little longer than I want it to be, but uh, maybe we help a few people out. Maybe this kid's brain turns on and uh, he changes a few things in his diet and his stomach's feeling better. Uh, but, but those two simple things I said earlier, don't take any supplements throughout the day. I think it would fix his stomach. You know, none of that crap in the morning, no way protein, swap it for animal protein sources. I think he'd be fine. Uh, but you guys can drop a like on the video. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And if you guys would like, just let me know anyone or any videos you'd like me to review in the future. Mm -hmm.